All right, here we go with the 2017 Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. This is one that, honestly, I'm going to have to update after Raw and SmackDown this week uh, because of the fact that, uh, as of right now, there's only five guys, only four guys, named for the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Uh, Apollo Crews was the first named, um, and then it was followed by Mojo Rawley and Kurt Hawkins from the SmackDown brand. And then on Monday Night Raw, we had The Big Show. Sort of taking his matchup against the Big Show, which was the first rumored match for WrestleMania 33. Thrown in the trash against Shaquille O'Neal, Big Show named as a participant in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Um, Big Show has won this at, at past events at WrestleMania 31. Um, he was involved with uh, him and Kane, and he ended up throwing out Damian Sandow in order to win um, the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle, Battle Royal, which... Right now, thinking back, throwing out Sandow to win it uh, doesn't really let you remember how big of a star, you know, Damian Sandow made himself for WrestleMania 31, but WWE still threw it away. Um, Sandow now wrestling for Impact Wrestling, doing God knows what. I know he's running around with Rockstar Spud as his, like, second uh, guy. When he debuted for Impact, he immediately came out, uh, came in as an uh, incredible heavyweight uh, championship contender uh, to Bobby Lashley. Since then, I think he's turned himself into sort of a comedy act, but I, I can honestly tell you that I have nothing to back that up with other than hearing what people have been talking about in, in videos and, and seeing things on Twitter as well. Obviously, on Raw, this is going to be a big deal with all sorts of people not being named in matches, saying that they're going to be in it. Um, with WrestleMania 32's... Um, you know, Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, you had returning legends like Tatanka, you had outside uh, interest as Shaquille O'Neal uh, entering into the fact. I hope they play off of the fact that, you know, much like the Royal Rumble, when they add surprises to this, it makes it very, very entertaining. I know that with WrestleMania 30, it was rumored that Rob Van Dam uh, was going to be coming back to WWE. Um, he ended up coming back at the Raw after WrestleMania. But a lot of people were thinking that he was going to enter into the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal as a big surprise. And, and people kept waiting for the entrance. And it never happened. Um, I, I don't really know how you do it because with the Royal Rumble, you have the tick down uh, clock um, in the corner. And then of course you have the big... And then the, um, uh, of course, the, the wrestler's theme comes on, which gets the big crowd worked into a frenzy. You either get the, ah, oh, big pop, or you get the groan. With the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, unless you sort of sneak somebody down, like in a group of guys, um, and then they're sort of revealed in the match once the, the ring starts to clutter out, like, oh my gosh, look at that, look at that over there. Um, I don't really know how you you have a surprise because everybody comes all down all at once and is everybody's in the ring. Um, you know, the one thing I know about the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal is that it's always sort of led to letdown, I guess you can say, with Cesaro getting the win, Big Show getting the win, Baron Corbin getting the win. All three of those guys aren't really doing anything um, that are bigger than what they were doing um, at the time they won it. Um, Cesaro, of course, now is in another tag team. At the time he won it, he was uh, a part of the All-Americans with him and Jack Swagger. Um, you know, him and Sheamus are a really good team, but um, they aren't really going anywhere towards that Cesaro singles push anytime now. Uh, Big Show then was just a guy that was used on Raw here and there as a part of the authority, but now here he is on Raw you know, in the last calendar year. I can remember him showing up for tribute to the troops, um, coming in a little bit uh, when they thought they were going to be doing the the build up for uh, the match against Shaquille, and now here he is showing up for WrestleMania, and he's really got nothing going on at all. Um, last year's winner Baron Corbin um, has been moved up to the main roster, but had that feud against Dolph Ziggler, had a mini feud against Jack Swagger, um, hasn't really done anything. Was named at the SmackDown. Um, Survivor Series team and only to be uh, eliminated by Kalisto uh, due to injury um, and then re be replaced by Shane O'Mac. And 
You know, what, what, what could only happen in the world of wrestling, the guy is taken off the team due to injury. I think he still wrestled at Survivor Series against Kalisto. Uh, much like when TNA took the title off of Rob Van Dam. And then by the time the tournament was over, Rob Van Dam had come back and returned uh, to be there. Um, so, as of right now, um, there's no prediction to who's going to win this. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of names that are named. Um, the, the probably odds-on favorite to win this is going to be Braun Strowman. I don't think he's going to win it uh, because of the fact that WWE, I think, is recognized at this point that winning this doesn't really bring any bright future um, to WWE's um, superstars, so we'll see what goes down with this one, but uh, like I said, it's going to be one that has to be talked about on uh, Wednesday once uh, Raw and SmackDown are in the books.